From being a college basketball star to not even being on an NBA roster less than four years later, Carson Edwards' career has been full of ups and downs. What's going on guys, this is Crazy NBA back with another YouTube video and today we are going to be talking about whatever happened to Carson Edwards. Carson Edwards was a superstar at Purdue University. At only 5'11", 200 pounds, Edwards didn't let anything slow him down. He had a great ability to make plays for others, create separation, and pull from anywhere on the court. It didn't matter how many guys were on him or where he was located on the court, if it was inside half, he was pulling it. Edwards carried Purdue all the way to the March Madness Tournament, averaging 24.3 points, 2.9 assists, and 1.3 steals per game. Entering the tournament as a three seed, Purdue dominated early. They knocked out Old Dominion and Villanova in large margin wins. Defenders struggled against Edwards. His quick release and great consistency from the three point line made him impossible to guard. In the Elite Eight game versus the number one seed Virginia, Purdue ended up falling short. But Carson Edwards' March Madness performance didn't go unnoticed. Edwards set records. He crushed the tournament record for three point field goals made per game and averaged 34.8 points per game, which was the most points per game in March Madness since 1990. Following Purdue's loss, Edwards announced that he would declare for the 2019 NBA draft. On June 20th, 2019, Edwards was selected with the 33rd overall pick by the Philadelphia 76ers. The Philadelphia 76ers select Carson Edwards from Purdue University. But his draft rights were traded to the Boston Celtics. Edwards played for the Celtics Summer League team during 2019 and averaged a team high 19.4 points over 5 games. He started to look like a very solid player. Carson Edwards' speed helped him get open off of screens and knock down shots. He was also great at scoring through contact. Edwards didn't play much of a big role on the Celtics during the regular season. He appeared in 37 games during the 2019-2020 season. Edwards' Celtics stats were not great to say the least. He only really played when the Celtics were winning by a lot and he didn't get many minutes. On February 6, 2020, Edwards was reassigned to the main Red Claws, the Celtics G League affiliated team. Edwards spent some time in the G League with the Red Claws, but when COVID hit and the NBA went into the bubble, the Celtics decided to bring Carson Edwards along. Edwards didn't get much playing time in the bubble, but he tried to stay confident. In an interview with the Boston Globe, he said, I want to be able to be known as someone who's playing well and providing for the team, and it's not just off of making shots. I'm just trying to focus on ways for me to be more consistent. I'm still just learning and trying to get the hang of it. The Celtics ended up falling short of the NBA Finals in the bubble, and Celtics fans started to wonder if his time with Boston was slowly coming to an end. Edwards found himself on the Celtics Summer League roster again in 2021. He played pretty well in Summer League, but on September 15, 2021, Edwards was traded to the Memphis Grizzlies. Memphis had too many guards on their team, so Edwards was cut just eight days later. After a couple months of being a free agent, Carson Edwards was acquired by the Salt Lake City Stars. The Utah Jazz G League team. He started to look like his old Purdue self in Salt Lake City. In 31 games, he averaged 26.7 points, 2.7 rebounds, 4.1 assists, and 1.5 steals. The small quick guard led the G League in scoring and ended up winning the 2022 G League Scoring Champion Award. Edwards proved that he could still hoop at a high level, and his outstanding season with the Stars didn't go unnoticed by NBA teams. On April 3rd, 2022, Edwards got another chance in the NBA. This time, he would be playing for the Detroit Pistons. The Pistons signed him to a two-year deal. Sadly, Edwards' time with Detroit didn't last long. He only appeared in four games during the two months that he was with the team. He averaged 5.8 points in Detroit. On June 30th, the Pistons declined their team option for Edwards, making him a free agent. No NBA teams came calling Carson Edwards' phone, so he decided to take his talents overseas. Edwards signed with Fenerbahce, a Turkish team. Currently known as Fenerbahce Beko for sponsorship reasons, they are one of the most successful clubs in Turkish basketball history. Edwards still proved he had a great three-point shot. Having played in 20 Turkish league games, Edwards averaged 13.3 points, 2 rebounds, and 2.1 assists. While over 34 Euro League games, he averaged 8 points along with 1.3 rebounds and 1.1 assists in almost 15 minutes of playing time. Due to coming off of injuries, Edwards didn't play as much as he would like to, but he was a great scorer off the bench. Most recently, Carson Edwards signed with FC Bayern Munich on a one-year deal. Edwards will join former NBA players on the Bayern roster, including Isaac Bonga and Freddie Gillespie. It is currently preseason for Bayern Munich, but Edwards has had a couple of 14 and 18 point games. Currently over 25 years old, I hope Edwards can make a name for himself overseas in Germany and become a star over there, or 
eventually make a comeback to the NBA. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I am currently trying to make a whatever happened to series on my channel. So comment a player that used to be a star and you think disappeared or fell off. Make sure you guys don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, peace!